Hey YouTube, what up? Uh, today I'm bringing you some Last of Us 2 gameplay. Super exciting. Uh, I just beat the game like a day ago. I gave it some time to kind of marinate, get my thoughts together, and I wanted to just kind of talk about it. Um, I, it took me 20 hours, I think 20-ish hours to beat the game. So I, uh, it's a lot to go over. I guess uh, I'm not going to go over everything, obviously. But I'm going to talk about the pros, the cons, how I feel about it, and I guess how the game is. Uh, so this is your spoiler alert. This is about an hour or two into the game, so this is um, nothing too uh, too far into the game. So, um, but I figured I should probably warn you, because something fucked up does happen in like 30 seconds. And if you don't want that spoiled, you should click away now. But I'm not going to go over the ending. So, anyway, this is uh, me talking about it. So, starting off, I did not see any of the leaks, so I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I knew it was Last of Us 2, obviously, so I knew kind of what it was about. But um, I didn't want to. I wasn't expecting anything in particular. I expected a great fucking game, but I didn't really expect anything particularly to come out of this story. So yeah, starting off, uh, I guess I'll go over the things I hated or things I didn't like. Uh, so there are some bugs in this game. There are some. Uh, sometimes my friend Cody had invisible clickers. Uh, my friend Riley had some visual glitches where like Ellie was bald uh, for like a portion of the game, so she had no hair. Uh, there's some ledges you. Um, some jumps I couldn't make that killed me, which is really frustrating. Um, some things you get stuck on randomly, it's just like the hit detection or like the the, the collision with random things that aren't even there. Um, God, this is hard to watch, sorry, sorry for putting this in the background. It was one of the only clips I actually recorded of this game, so I decided to uh, let it play. So uh, <laughs> if I have to watch it again, so do you. But um, yeah, so the last thing, I guess the only other issue I have about this game is definitely the story. Uh, so the, the first game was obviously like survival, you know, you, you're doing it for the greater good, you're taking LA to the fireflies, you're trying to save the world. Okay, makes sense, right? Everything about that just made sense. Now this game is just a revenge story. It, does that not just blow your mind when you think about it? Like, we're in this post-apocalyptic post world, right? And there's zombies and there's people trying to kill you like actively. And you're going to put yourself at risk, you're going to put your family at risk, you're going to put your village at risk. Just for re revenge. It's like crazy to me that we have a life. And we're just putting all that away just for this one bitch. You know what I mean? So, um, I mean, it kind of drives the story. You have to. Otherwise, what are you going to do? Make it like a hunting simulator game just to get food for the village? I mean, probably not. What else are you going to have her do? Can we have a moment of silence for Joel? Yeet! Oh, God. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so hard to watch again. But, um, yeah, they really did him dirty. And this is so early on in the game, too. So, I mean, it, it definitely drives the story. So, I mean... I'm happy they did it. I mean, I'm sad I didn't get to play as Joel, but you know, here we are. Um, so yeah, other than that, I really don't have like any complaints. I think the game is great. The gameplay is sick. Um, the combat, I love it. You can dodge now. You can go prone. Um, there's dogs, so they can like sniff you out now. So you can't just hide forever. Uh, so I mean, the, the gameplay is sick. And Ellie finally, finally, finally learned how to swim. So I mean, everything about this was dope. Um, there's even like this little tiny thing. Um, there's like some slight nuances where like to squeeze between like a truck and like a rock you have to like hold forward and X and she turns sideways and like it makes you feel kind of vulnerable at a point uh, and there's like times where like your flashlight dies so you have to just like shake the controller so it's like literally pitch black and you're just like trying to shake this controller super fast to get the flashlight working I mean it's just like little shit like that makes this game like really pop and this game is not afraid to be bold as obviously as you see um, they kind of killed off one of the best characters ever created um, so early on which uh, you kind of learn that people are expendable, which is something else that's really great. There is no, there's no like dumb characters, I guess I'll say. There is no villains, which is cool. There's not just a bad guy, you know? You gotta see, uh, you, you learn about Abby's past, why she did what she did, what's going on with that. And you kind of side with, with, I guess, the, the bad guy, which is Abby, technically. But then at the end of the day, like, there was no one I hated. Uh, I wasn't rooting for Allie, uh, Allie, Ellie or Abby. I wasn't rooting for anybody. Um, and there's like no characters. I'm like, oh, this person's so dumb. I wish they would die. I mean, everyone feels like they're adding to the story. And everyone also is vulnerable and able to die, which you definitely will learn that in this game that, you know, people will just die. <laughs> like people you care about when there's no dramatic way they die, they just get shot in the face. And you're like, oh shit, they're dead. And that's it. So, I mean, that's, that's cool. Cause you don't, you get attached to these characters and then you feel something when they just die without any like rhyme or reason or like it just happens out of nowhere. So, I mean, I, I love that. I love that too. Um, the, the story, I mean, I talked about that. It's okay. Um, the ending did not like the way this game ended. I think I guess that's another gripe I had with it. 
uh, it just kind of makes you feel like what what was the point of the whole thing, you know? Um, and there's a million ways. There's literally a million ways this game could have ended. And there's actually like three different times I thought I was at the end of the game, but then I spawned in with my gun, and I'm like, oh, wait, I'm not done yet. So, um, I mean, the pacing feels great. Uh, shit happens, like, out of nowhere. Like, it'll catch you off guard. There's times where it's, like, storytelling, and then, like, it'll be interrupted by, like, a fucking fight. And, like, people will, like, fucking ambush your place or whatever. So you gotta, like, Stop us. just do shit crazy. I mean, there's, um, the pacing's great. Everything about this game is great. I don't really understand, um, the complaints. I don't know why it'd get, like, a 3 out of 10 stars or something like that. I'm, like, I'm watching or seeing the reviews from the user scores come in. Um, so that doesn't make any sense to me, but uh, if this was a standalone game, if this wasn't like a sequel to one of the greatest games created, um, I feel like it would do a lot better in the public opinion. Uh, but when you make something like Last of Us 1, how do you follow it up? You, you, you can't. There's nothing they can create that would give you that same feeling as the first one would. Uh, that game was obviously a masterpiece, and when you're kind of comparing this to that, obviously it's not going to be as good. I mean, this game does a lot of things right. Like, a lot of things better, but it's a, it's a storytelling game, essentially, which is why a lot of people like the game. So like, you can't improve upon what's already like perfected in the first game. So I mean, I guess that's where a lot of the people have issues. Um, but I mean, yeah. But you could definitely tell that uh, Naughty Dog, as a company, they definitely put a lot of time and effort into this game. Um, it, it's it's flowing smoothly. Uh, I you can tell it's just not for like money. They didn't just like release this game because they wanted it just to come out and make money. Um, I'm sure they probably made bank off this game, but they delayed it a bunch of times. They put time into it. Um, they made some crazy changes. They did bold moves that aren't just for like for the company or aren't just for like money or they're not just catering to the to the fans. They, they put this game out because they wanted to and they felt like it was like perfected, you know? And I I agree. I do think this game you can definitely feel a lot to it. There are definitely some intense moments where my heart's actually pounding out of my chest and I, I don't know. This this game is great. Um I guess my, my final thing is, if you want to get the game, you should get it. If you're on the fence, you should get it. Um, if you play the first one, you should definitely get it. Um, so you, you can't play the first one, and then you, you owe it to yourself to play the second one. You're going to be... You won't be let down. This game is great. I mean, it's not as good story-wise or story -wise as the first one. But the game plays better. It's long. It's lengthy. It makes you want to play more. You want to know how it ends. Um... And if for nothing else other than that reason, you should definitely get the game. I think it's worth the price tag. I think um, after like 20 hours, I still have to go back in for a second run. Uh, there's no trophy for beating it on the hardest difficulty, I don't think. Which I think is a good call because I hate when I'm forced to do something because then it feels more like a chore than me actually wanting to play it on the hardest difficulty. Um, this game is a little bit more difficult than the first one, I think. Uh, not because of supplies, but because the way the zombies work. You know, there's clickers who can hear you, and there's runners that can just see you that are fast as shit. And there's, like, new zombies and shit that are always... It makes you really change up your gameplay, and um, they do a good job making the intense moments really intense. And, of course, when you're limited supplies and shit, like, how can you uh, really keep up with all those zombies they're throwing at you? So you have to be sneaky, and then it's hard to be sneaky when there's a million people. So, I mean, this game does a great job um, at what it does. It, it knows the type of game it is. It knows how to play with your heart. It knows the pacing is great, as I said before. It knows when it should be slow, when it should be faster, where to put you, how the, the setting set up, like how you got there, how you're going to get out. Like it, the, Everything about that, it, this game is great. And I don't understand how people can complain about this game. But, um... Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I know I picked a really fucked up scene to talk over, but it was one of the only ones I had. And it's early enough on and kind of powerful. And I feel like at this point, if you don't know Joel dies, then I don't know how you um, how you are on the internet without knowing that. But anyway, I guess that's all I have to say. I will give this game a solid two thumbs up. Um, that's my rating system, I guess. Just thumbs up. So I'll give it a solid two thumbs up. I hope the multiplayer is great. I know, um, again, it's kind of hard to improve upon something so good you did in the past but um i'm sure with all the past games they've made and all the multiplayer games they've made they have a lot of experience and the multiplayer will be great so that is all that i have to say uh i'm not gonna let this run out this is not really much else happening in this scene so i'm gonna end it here and yeah that's the review that's the commentary that's whatever the fuck this was and uh, thanks for watching see you